Alright, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over YouTube video remarketing, um, specifically remarketing to people who have viewed your videos before and remarketing to them with another video. So um, with Google AdWords, you're able to actually link your YouTube account because Google obviously owns YouTube um, and you can get all that different, all that data can all connect so that when someone views your video, they can get added to a remarketing list for you on AdWords. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. Uh, the first thing we need to do is link our YouTube channel to our Google AdWords account. Um, so generally you create these under the same Google account, um, the same Google email. Um, so both of mine are under Corey at surfsidepc.com. Um, so what you want to do from your main Google ad screen is click on tools and you want to click on linked accounts here under setup, um, which is going to bring this page up with all the different accounts you can link to your Google ads account. Uh, we're going to come down to YouTube here, click on details. Um, so this is where you're going to link it. Um, so all you really need to do is it's not going to show up here probably just like mine did. Um, so you just need to uh, click add channel here. Um, and it's it's really quick to do. It's really easy to do. Um, so just something that you need to do first when you start uh, doing this these types of campaigns. Um, if, if it doesn't work that way, if the user interface changes, um, YouTube is currently changing to a new creator studio. Uh, they're calling it YouTube Studio. So I don't want to want to really show you how to do it through there because it's probably going to change over the next month. Um, so if you ever need to figure out how to do it, just do a quick Google search, link YouTube channel to Google AdWords account, Google Ads account, whatever it is. Um, and what's going to, they're going to have the updated way to do it always here. Um, so that's the first step you need to do is link those accounts. So the next thing you need to do is uh, come back to your Google Ads account. And what we're going to do is, again, click on Tools here. Um, so click it again, Tools. And what you want to do is under Shared Library, come to Audience Manager. So that's going to open up this page that uh, basically shows any of the different uh, remarketing audiences that you've created. Uh, you can click here for custom audiences. And since our YouTube channel is connected to our Google AdWords account, uh, all we need to do is click on Plus here. Click on YouTube Users. You can see there's different options here that you can create your audiences. Just click on YouTube users and it's going to automatically pull up the YouTube channel. Um, so what I can do is just say audience name, you know, all users who viewed videos and that would create, you know, 30 days. Anybody who's viewed a video on the Surfside PPC channel is going to get added to this audience. So if you're watching this video right now, you're getting added to my remarketing audience. Now, the other option you have under list members is to click viewed certain videos, uh, viewed any video as an ad, viewed certain videos as ads, subscribers. So there's all these different things that you can also create. Um, just something you want to kind of test. Um, if you to have a big YouTube account, you can do subscribers, you can do all these different things to say, okay, when someone subscribes to my channel, I want to make sure that they also subscribe to my email list. So I'm going to send them an ad uh, to encourage them to subscribe also to my email list. So just some different options you have here. Um, I'm going to click on cancel. I actually actually already have this created here. So this is all YouTube views. Um, you could see the size. I could use it on the search network. I could use it on YouTube. I could use it on display. I could use it on Gmail. So they'll also create a similar to all YouTube views audience that you can also use on display um, here. Um, you can generally use these on YouTube, but my audience seems kind of small. Um, so now what you want to do is come back to your Google Ads account. We have our channels linked. We have our audience created and populating. Um, so what we want to do is click on add a new campaign. And you can start with a goal. So for us, let's just say our goal is going to be um, leads. Let's just say I want people to I don't really know if I have a goal for this one, but <laughs> let's just pretend I do. Um, I generally prefer leads or sales. Um, video is a little bit different. You can do product and brand consideration, brand awareness and reach. Um, you know, it's it's not as bad with video because it's, it's kind of a little bit better, a, a great way to kind of educate people about your products and services. So there's no problem with kind of looking at it as a consideration type of a campaign. So I'm just going to click on leads and we're going to do select a campaign type video. So it's going to say drive conversions, get more conversions with video ads, that's fine. Okay, so now what it's saying is type video campaign, our goal is going to be lead, subtype drive conversions. Um, so campaign name, um, I'm just going to pretend I'm going to promote this Ask Surfside PPC, our new video series. And I just want anybody who's viewed a video from our channel to also know that we have this Ask Surfside PPC option for them. They can go to surfsideppc.com slash ask, ask their question, we can create a video to answer it. So... Uh, coming back over here, campaign name. Uh, so what? let's just do Ask Surfside PPC. Budget, whatever your budget is, just enter it here. Um, I generally recommend starting smaller and then kind of increasing as you go. Start and end dates if you want. Um, so networks, you can do 
uh, video partners on the display network. Um, so it's saying I can't do it because of the leads. You could do YouTube search results. Um, so if you're doing different uh, types of goals with your campaign, so brand awareness, you know, reach, things like that, um, you can do video partners on the display network. Um, so that means like, let's say, the New York Times, for example, has a video, um, and maybe they have some inventory for Google Ads, so your ad might appear on the New York Times. Uh, it might appear on ESPN.com. Uh, so wherever your uh, audience is going to, it's going to remarket to them. So the display network, your ads will also run very similar to YouTube. It's just you know on videos on those websites. YouTube search results. So uh, these show when people are actually searching in YouTube. Uh, so if you search something right now, uh, just type in marketing, you'll see a couple ads come up. But for us, we're just going to do YouTube videos here. So languages, um, I generally just recommend, you know, whatever language that your customers generally speak. Uh, so for me, I'm just going to do English. Um, so if, you know, if you're targeting people with all, you know, who speak all different languages, then you can just keep it wide open. Um, otherwise, maybe you target people who are speaking Spanish more often. Um, so language just depends on, you know, what language your customers speak. Locations, I'm just going to keep it wide open in the United States. You can uh, adjust that depending on what you want. Uh, so target CPA, so let's just assume, you know, I'm willing to spend $100 for every time someone asks me a question. Um, so inventory type, so you can do you know, limited is going to get rid of sexually suggestive content, um, you know, explicit content, expanded, uh, you're going to be on basically everything, any video is, is open. Uh, I generally use standard inventory, it just kind of depends on the content of it. If you're, you know, marketing something that's a little bit more sensitive or, you know, something like that, you might want to go limited. I'm just going to do standard because, you know, for marketing, it's not, you know, if someone's watching a, a video that's a little sensitive, it's not too bad. So excluded content, so if you want to exclude anything, um, I generally will sometimes, so we'll just get rid of these things, just exclude them. So we're just not even going to bother with this. Um, you can exclude types and labels of content. Um, you know, don't even worry about that stuff for now. Um, so add group name, what I'm going to do is all YouTube watchers. So you can narrow down demographics. Um, you can narrow down, you know, where your ads are going to show with specific keyword targeting, specific topic targeting, specific placement targeting. Um, keyword targeting again is going to be contextual. It's not like the search network where people are actually typing things in. It's going to say, okay, this video matches these types of keywords. Not that someone's actually typing those in. So under audience here, this is where you want to find. Excuse me, where. You know, you're remarketing in similar audiences down here. You click on it, YouTube users and all YouTube views. So my audience is 20,000 people. Um, so that's basically all you have to do is just add your all YouTube views here. Um, and then you, you want to create your video ad. So that's kind of your main, your main thing here is under audiences, you have to make sure you link your accounts, create your audience, and then you're just targeting, you know, anybody who's visit visited my YouTube channel and watched a video is going to be added to this over the last 30 days. It's been 20,000 different people that I can target now with my Ask Surfside PPC video ad. So you're going to take your video. Um, so Ask Surfside PPC, just copy the URL. And it's going to pull that up for us. Uh, so it's just going to be an in-stream ad format. That's what we want. Um, final URL, I'm going to send them to HTTPS. So there, display URL. I can keep the same exact thing. Ooh. So ask Surfside does not fit. Ask now, so people should be able to get that. And we'll just do ask Surfside PPC. Just do ask Surfside. Not many characters here. Um, so you could do maybe I could fit ask a question. Perfect. So ask a question, call to action, ask now. Um, companion banner, so this is going to show up on the, alongside your video. Um, so there's, you know, the other videos down the right-hand side. A companion banner shows up alongside. You can just auto-generate uh, using videos from your channel. I generally just do that. It, it makes it so much easier. So for ad name, I'm just going to do ask Surfside, PPC, add one, click save and continue. And that's basically it. So on ad approval, it's going to start going after leads. Um, so leads would be set up. Um, I would have to, you know, come to tools here, go to my custom conversions under measurement, and then set up. So every time someone asks a question, I can actually, you know, have that back as a lead. So since I want people to be asking questions and interacting with my business, I want to set that up as my goal. Um, we're going to be doing target CPA. So I set it up as, you know, $100 for every goal, every uh, lead. 
Um, and then we have our ad group here. We're targeting all YouTube views. So anybody who's viewed our channel with this video and that's it. So continue to campaign and that's exactly how you do it. Um, you can segment different things. So someone watches specific videos, someone watches a specific video. Uh, so one of our popular videos is our Google AdWords tutorial. It has, I think over 250,000 views at this point. So that's kind of a video I can say, okay, if someone's watching this video, then I'm going to retarget them with, you know, some type of AdWords offer, uh, whether it's here by our AdWords ebook here, you know, by our AdWords video series, uh, check out our other free video series on AdWords because I know those people are highly interested in that. Um, ask Surfside PPC. This would actually not be a bad YouTube campaign to run. Um, so just trying to get people to interact with my business, ask me questions, I answer them. Um, it, it works for me because I can put videos out and monetize them and I get more ideas from people and actual problems that they're facing that I can fix. So. Um, this is how to do YouTube video remarketing specifically to people who have watched your videos, people who are subscribed to your channel. Uh, there's a lot of different options that you can try. Uh, in my experience, this works very well, uh, especially as you have a bigger YouTube channel. Um, so a lot of the people who watch my videos are generally pretty engaged. Um, so it's always good to kind of retarget if I want to send them a specific offer. I might have a book coming out later this year, so I wouldn't be surprised if I have a, a YouTube remarketing campaign going out for that. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you again for subscribing and for watching our video.